hello everyone welcome back to mrs dre food channel today i am going to prepare the classic most favorite ghanaian chili sauce which is called shito and this one is a chunky shito that you are going to enjoy so please stay tuned and let's get cooking for this recipe i'll be using powdered chili I am also going to use some dried chili, whole chili by the way. I've got my dried rosemary. I am also going to use fresh ginger. I'm going to add my crayfish cubes. I also have some fresh garlic cloves. I have my onions. And this is a lot of onions but you need it for shito and I have my whole smoked browns and here I have whole baby crayfish and of course I would need my oil and I'm using vegetable oil the first thing to do is to blend the onion the dried rosemary the garlic the ginger and oil so I'm going to pour enough oil to blend well I have decided to use only one liter of oil to begin with but you can decide to use less and add more later on but in total I'll be using about two and a half liters of vegetable oil right so i am going to add my onion ginger garlic and the tablespoonful of dried rosemary in my blender and then i'm going to add oil to it by the way if you do not like vegetable oil please use any type you like so i blended it off camera and this is it but this is just half of it because I had a lot to blend and now I am adding the second part this is it it's very very easy and I'm just giving it a little stir so now the next step also very easy I am going to pour oil in my cooking pots and wait until it heats up but in the meantime I am going to blend my whole smoked browns and don't worry because I am going to list all the ingredients in the description box and by the way you may have noticed that I am using my food processor that is because I want my shito to be a bit rough like chunky so let's get back to the oil it is nice and hot and i'm pouring my ginger garlic onion and rosemary mixture to it and now i'm going to give it a nice stir make sure the heat is not too high or else it's going to burn in the meantime i'm going to blend my dried whole pepper and then put it aside and please keep in mind that you need to stir your shito constantly because it might stick to the bottom and burn so always keep that in mind so this has been frying for 50 minutes and you can see that the texture has changed it is the perfect time to add in my chili and for this recipe i am just using powdered chili and dried chili not the fresh one but feel free to do as you please i have added my chilies now i am going to give it a nice stir always monitor the heat guys very important and then i'll let it cook for about 20 minutes and then it will be time to add in my blended smoked browns and my whole dried smoked crayfish 
on my baby crayfish and then give it a stir if you don't want to use crayfish you can use herrings or fish powder now stir it and let it cook for about 10 minutes this is my shito after 10 minutes and it is already looking fantastic and it is the right time for me to add more oil to it so I'm adding about 500 milliliters and now I am going to stir it so in total I've added two liters and half of oil now my seasoning I'm going to add cubes of crayfish because I use crayfish but you could use any type of seasoning you like and then I'm going to add a bit of salt to taste and stir it you can always taste it and see if the seasoning is right for you now I'm going to let it cook it is almost ready guys this is a very easy and sharp sharp shito look at this beauty my dear friends my chili oil is ready look at this fabulous Ghanaian sauce what are you going to enjoy it with eat it with some kenke with some fried yam and many more thank you all for watching and i'll see you very soon for another mrs jury recipe bye and stay blessed